Todd Toy News. This is the Todd Toys. Now known as McFarland Toys, but um, I love saying Todd Toy News. I just saw this right now. <laughs> Look at this. Now, this is from the animated series, Prepare to Cower Before the Uncanny Condiment King. Uh, this is so cool. So let's take a closer look at Condiment King. There he is right there. And uh, if we can darken that a little bit, let's darken that a little bit. Uh, I'm struggling with what I want. That is the Condiment King from the animated series when the Joker uh, got a hold of three different people, three different comedians. Um, you know, it's it's funny that the animated series invented uh, Last Comic Standing before NBC. <laughs> before NBC invented Last Comic Standing, which I don't think is on the air anymore, but whatever. I, you know, co comedians have been canceled for such a long time. It's It's amazing. It's like, we're not in Canada. We're in America. Anyway... So it's MLB All-Star Week, and so therefore the uh, McFarland Toy Store, online store, has a limited number of these Platinums. These are Platinum uh, editions of all the stars. I'm not sure if it's like the home or away team uniforms. I'm, I'm guessing that's what the Platinum gimmick is. But there you go. It's uh, sports picks. These are all the different players. I have no idea which ones these ones are. I'm not keeping up with the baseball stuff. But... Um, yeah, so if you want to pick them up, you can. They might still be there. Me not. We talked about Ragman. It's now available for pre-order at select retailers. We'll take another look at Ragman. Uh, here he is here. That's a cool shot. And then here's an up close. He's got the rag. He's got the rag thing going on. He's got the um, the whole uh, spiraling gimmick because he's got rags. And here's more rags. And finally, we got him in this weird dark pose. Pretty good. Red Hood, uh, Collector's Edition number 20. Here we go. We're going to look at some more pictures of the Red Hood. Now, for those of you... Oh, I think this is the first time we have a shiny helmet. Shiny helmet. So, um, that's from the... Now, he first appeared uh, as the pre-Joker in 1951. So... Uh, Joker explains, I mean, they explained it in, in bat number, Batman number one, 1940, but in, uh, it was a later Batman or detective comics. I think it was, might've been just a Batman story in which, uh, Batman and Robin would go to a high school. No, they would go to a college and, uh, there are these kids learning how to be, they're studying law or studying how to be a detective studying law school. Right. And there's this, there's this guy that dresses up as the Red Hood. There's two different people, right? And one pretends to be the Red Hood, but it's one of the, I think it's the, the groundskeeper, the one who takes care of, the, of the, uh, the grass and the yards around the campus where Batman and Robin are. But then the real Red Hood shows up and they figured out that there was a hair. And because of a green hair, they figured out it's the Joker. So that was the one clue that they had because they were trying to test out things in a lab. It's like, oh, no, because they had burnt the hair and then they reverse uh, engineered it to be green hair. So then they found out it was the Joker and the Joker explains his origin story. Uh, it was basically like the Joker was robbing uh, the, the college of money or whatever. And the first guy that pretended to be the Red Hood didn't know how to use that that helmet. Like, how could the guy see if, you know, you, you didn't have eye holes. So that was the whole gimmick. So, uh, yeah, is that only two pictures? So, yeah, that's the Red Hood. So, yeah, you can pick this one up for pre-order. Here's two more pictures. I knew there were four pictures. Here's the Golden Age Batman. And then here he is with the gun. <laughs> Clock King, Collector's Edition number 18. Seven-inch action figure scale is now available for pre-order. Here we have the Claw King standing. Let me just fix our picture here. Now we got the Claw King up close, medium shot. He's got, you got to have a fucking watch. Of course you got to have a fucking watch. This one's pretty neat. So if you want to be a completionist and you want to get this guy on top of Rag Ragman's cool. I like Ragman. I like the Red Hood, but this one's also fine. Available for pre-order for July 18th. 
There is Wolverine. This is uh, 80s. This is Alpha Flight Wolverine, classic Wolverine that I remember. I used to think that was his original costume. And uh, here we have Iron Man. This is classic Iron Man. So, I mean, in, in, in the place of action figures, you can only make statues. And I think these statues look great. I mean, it's it's this is basically Todd's audition to get those Marvel figures made. But um, I mean, he, I mean, he I know he misses Angela. We all miss Angela. right? And because what's what's Angela going to do in the Marvel Universe? Tell me what she's going to do. Uh, the Tumblr presale is live now. This is uh, for the uh, the Batman Begins Tumblr. Uh, it's only in uh, digital form, I think. So you can, if you have your digital app for all of your figures, you can purchase them. Here we have more. Uh, this is more one in ten scale. This is a Deadpool because Deadpool Wolverine's coming out soon. And then we have Spider Man. Uh, well, I thought this was interesting. The Spider Man is on his uh, web, I guess, standing up. So that's another one. Like, There's like two or three of these uh, different statues by McFarland Toys. And then we go down here. We got a oh, Space Marine Eliminator. Artist proof is available for pre-order now. So uh, this Warhammer uh, has been another focus besides Fallout, besides sports and Superman and Batman and Spawn. He's been doing Warhammer. So McFarlane never stops. He never stops the never stops the run, never runs the stop. So let me show you a little bit. This is the uh so there we go. I don't know who this guy is. I'm not a huge uh Warhammer fan, but uh there he is. That's pretty neat. Uh I like the legs. I like the gun. And I like yeah. It's 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 really cool. It's all in gray. Artist proof, I guess, would be different. It's it's the equivalent of like a pencil sketch, but a pencil sketch is a pencil pencil sketch, right? Um, you're coming up with something out of clay, and you're kind of showing everybody what this kind of figure would look like uh, before it's finally painted and uh, all the final details. Uh, this is it for Warhammer. There's more Warhammer figures to come, I think. And we have the the final version of the Warhammer. Uh, Space Eliminator, whatever his name is. So this is the final version of him. Uh, after all the uh, colors and everything. So whether you like the artist proof or this proof, I think they they work very well on your shelf. Uh, I do like Warhammer. I I think I did a video. Yep, I sure did. I did a YouTube video about Warhammer, and I did not know anything about Warhammer. And it's funny enough because I got that magazine from. I think I got it from Ralph's and they don't sell magazines like in a rack anymore. It's kind of shit. It's kind of, it's kind of shitty, kind of sad, but yeah, I was lucky to get a hold of that and just learn a little bit of what Warhammer is about. Uh, Henry Cavill likes Warhammer. I, they're supposed to do a Warhammer series somewhere down the line. But uh, if you want to pick this one up, either version, this is for like all retailers for July 18th. I think, I think these are all available. I'm not sure if it's July 18th, but I think it's all for pre-order. Astra Militarium Kasurkin, I guess his name is. This is the artist proof. This one's up for pre-order as well. Part of the Warhammer universe. Uh, there's so many of these. Figures. I like. I think that. I think that Todd is kind of playing on the unpainted and painted models of Warhammer because people with uh, a lot of a uh, hobby for like, like uh, Henry Cavill is painting those statues and uh, those little. They're like little figures that are about you know, about maybe less than an inch tall. And you can do scenarios with them and stuff like that. And it's really, I mean, the battlefields would look interesting. I just don't know nothing about it. Lots of dice involved. Here's Astra as a final concept. All green and mean. And he's ready to kill some predators uh, out in the wild. So, yeah, I thought this is, this is cool. So if you're a big Warhammer fan, if you're a big um, Warhammer or Fallout, or any of those, like, there's some great figures to pick up. Your rampage ends here, Doomsday. Oh, let's take a look. These are, share your, for a chance to be featured. Okay, so these are digital toys. So this is, this is Superman versus Doomsday digital figures. Uh, 
if you're into that sort of thing. I'm into the physical figures, but if you want to get digital figures, here we go. Superman vs. Doomsday digital figures. Todd's got to keep selling Superman, right? To be continued. So it's on the digital uh, storefront. And then there's more of the, of the looks of these figures. Here is uh, Rocky. So you got Rocky. You got all kinds of shit. You got, you got Rocky and uh, this Apollo Creed. I thought I saw Mr. T in that one picture. Do you remember I said uh, I saw, saw Mr. T? So that's it for Todd Toy News. This is the, uh, we'll look at Astra here. This will be the last uh, news um, video for now. Um, I have some other last videos I'm going to be working on. Uh, my final video will be in the middle of the night, Monday morning. Uh, we'll take a look around the house one last time. I might be able to show you the house I grew up in as a child. So we'll look at two houses. But um, I'm just trying to get this all together. And uh, we'll see what happens, okay? So until next time, same Todd time same Todd channel uh you can also check out my indie comics and movie news you can also check out my steam deck news i'm trying to look at everything you know um but um we'll see what happens okay